Hi everyone, I'm Mosina Mustafa Niti and today's discussion topic is how Israel is using food deprivation as a weapon of war in Gaza. The situation in Gaza is deeply troubling. There are allegations that Israel is intentionally restricting the flow of essential resources like food and medicine into Gaza, causing immense hardship for its residents. This has resulted in severe consequences, especially for vulnerable groups like children, who are suffering from malnutrition and even losing their lives due to the lack of adequate nourishment. A particularly tragic incident occurred when civilians were shot while trying to obtain flour from aid trucks. Although the Israeli military offered varying explanations for the incident, eyewitnesses have not ex accepted their claims. The international community has expressed widespread condemnation of these actions. Leaders from different countries like Jordan, Colombia, France have spoken out against the violence, emphasizing the need to protect innocent civilians and uphold humanitarian principles. The conflict has also had devastating effects on Gaza's agriculture and food supply. Farms and food sources have been destroyed during the fighting, exacerbating the food shortages and making it even harder for people to access essential provisions. Such actions violate the rules of war, which prohibit the deliberate starvation of civilians and obstructing humanitarian aid. Despite these challenges, humanitarian organizations are working tirelessly to deliver aid to Gaza. However, they faced numerous obstacles, including violence and restrictions at border crossings. It is crucial for all parties involved to facilitate the delivery of aid and ensure the safety of humanitarian workers. Addressing the crisis in Gaza requires concerted efforts from the international community. It is imperative to find a peaceful resolution to the conflict and ensure that essential resources reach those in need. Only through collaborative action, we can remove the suffering of the people of Gaza and work towards a lasting solution. To read the full commentary, check our website www.deeps.org.bd. That's all for today's page.